Spurs didn't bring anyone in in the transfer window. We've talked about that at length. However, they now find themselves in a situation, Jolion, with serious injuries to, yeah. to key players. They've, they've struggled with injuries also. I think it's up to like 17 players they've had injured at any one time during this season. Is this just bad luck in terms of, of injuries, particularly with the new one to, to Deli Alley, or is it is it not preparing for this situation? Could they have prepared for it? Uh, yeah, I think they could have invested, obviously, but obviously their priority was stadium and other, um, and other ventures. But in regards of bad luck, I think it's just a timing that the ball come at once. Um, I think if you lose Harry Kane, Deli Alley at any stage of the season, the importance they have to, to Spurs as a club, the goals, contribution they have where we assist um, actual scoring goals is, is vital for them. And I think if you look at any other team, if they lost pretty much their top two influential goal scorers, um, they would struggle as well. And as I said, the timing of these two missing is crucial for, um, for Spurs. We talk about the top two. Harry Kane is injured. Son is on Asia Cup duty. Yeah. Lucas Moura has missed the last three games with a knee injury. Deli Ali is now injured. That's the top four. Yeah goal scorers who are struggling with injury. Is it, is it bad luck or bad planning, Tim, do you think? Well, it's bad luck. Yeah. Uh, certainly bad luck. Um, whether so, it's bad, so where's the, whether where's it's the bad planning where it remains to be seen. I mean, they, they've not... It's not hurt them at the moment, is it? So until it hurts them, uh, I think, or reserve judgment, I, I think that they'd be able to get through this period. I think they've got good enough players in the squad. I think they've got a cute manager who knows how to change the way he can play. This was a real blow uh, at the weekend to lose Delhi there. That looked bad. I mean, we see him sitting on the bench there after that. It looked like it wasn't just a niggle we'd be ready for in 10 days. It looked like it might be a four-week job. You know, I'm no doctor, but um, a hamstring injury is, is generally not good. You know, it's weeks. You know, I don't think it'd be two or three months. I don't think that's going to be the case. They're going to miss him because when Harry's away, um, and Son's gone, um, they're going to need people to chip in and, and he can score goals. I mean, he can break from midfield and score goals. It's going to be up to Lorente to come to the party now. I think that's the only one with, you know, the Kane one, that could, that could have happened yeah. first day of the season. You know, uh, Son's away, you know, they'd have known that a while back. Uh, more, I don't know, his injury knee. But Maybe the, back the, the, the Deli Alley one, that, that's not having a big enough squad. You know, him playing a lot of big games one some, after the other. Some the other way. So, so I quick. think you, you know Son's going. You can plan for that. You know Moore has been injured for a while. You they can have, plan they haven't for got that. the money to go and buy it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You can't... That's what I'm saying. But you can plan. You can't plan that. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Yeah. Them ones have happened. This is an injury. I yeah. mean, this is just... You know, we're saying about how big the squad is. Is it, is it come back to buy him? That could, because that could catch up with them. The other ones are, are injuries that have just happened. Mm. For me, the Harry Kane one, it's hard, you know, Tottenham are buying a big stadium. They haven't got the money. You know, if they're going to go out, it's pointless going out buying £5 million players. This is Tottenham. They're, they're a team that want to play Champions League football. They want to win the Premier League. You can't go and buy someone for £70 million, and go and meet the agent and the player, and the player goes, am I playing? He goes, of course you're not playing. You're, yeah. you're behind Harry Kane. You probably won't, you won't play full stop. You know, everybody plays one up front now. Everybody used to play two up front. Now it's one up mm. front. It's, it's, unless you, you're lucky and you've got a lot of money like Man City and they, they, can, you know, they can have Jesus and Aguero. You know, Tottenham, they should have to. You know, Tottenham are probably the only... Well, Chelsea are another, another one, but you should have two centre-forwards yeah. and then you go from there. And then, you know, we, we, we have two free goalies. We have two goalies. So you've got to have two, two centre-forwards, really. But they've got good fixtures coming up. They might get away with it. But if they lose on Thursday, you know, that's another trophy that's gone missing that, you know, they had a chance of winning. Possibly some of these injuries could have been prevented if they have a bigger squad. Mm. Deli Ali doesn't have to play every minute of every game if you've got a bigger squad and you can rotate. So it's evident that... I just, I just, don't, I just don't think they've got... I just don't, honestly don't think they've got the money. You know, down the road, Arsenal built a big stadium, had to sell big players along the way, Fabregas, Van Persies. But maybe do they look after Arsenal? Why don't they say, we'll go and get some loanies? We'll go and get some loan mm. players. We don't have to sign them long term, but we can loan some players for the back Some end of suggestion the that, that on Thursday, Mora might play as mm. a sort of false nine type role. Is, is there any. Well, he can play as a nine. Is, Mora is... can run in behind, you know, he can stretch the teams. They've got a lot of number tens there. Now, it would help Ericsson out, coming into any little pockets and being cute, getting up near around the final third. We know he can score goals. Um, so Lucas Moura would be a, be a bonus if he's fit, yeah. 
Um, is, there, is there anyone at youth level at, at Tottenham who's, who's ready to make the step up, or at least to Sterling. get an opportunity? They've got Sterling, but he's, uh, he's a very young boy. You know, lack of experience and, and, and no game time up to now, really. Um, so that would be a, a major risk, uh, but you never know. You know, until they get an opportunity to play, you just don't know how good they are. I mean, the boy is very confident. He's game. He's a, he's a number nine, an out-and-out out number nine. He's got good pace. Um, if I stuck my neck a line and said, is he ready? Then no, of course he's not, because he's not played up to now. But he might be good enough to thicken up the squad for now, you know, and, and get them through this very difficult period. It is, it is difficult, not, maybe not in terms of, of the opposition overall. I mean, there are, there are difficult games in there. But also because it's such a congested fixture list for yeah. Tottenham, still in the FA Cup, yeah. at, at the second round of the, the League Cup semi-final still to come. As much as that's yeah. a successful season, it does bring with it the, the lack of recovery days for, for the players and the squad that's already stretched with lots of injuries. It does, yeah. I mean, we... We've all been players and we would say you'd rather play than train. Mm. Uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to continue to play the games. Um, they're used to rotation now. We were never used to it. If we was left out of the team, it's because we were dropped. You know, we used to be knocking on the door to the manager saying, why I'm not playing. Now it seemed to be rested. And almost like when they're playing in the Carabao Cup, if they're the ones selected to play, they're looking to the <coughs> manager and say, well, why aren't I rested for the Premier League? So... But I think Tottenham's game on Thursday is massive to the season. This gives them a lift going in, because that game on Saturday, after the Carabao Cup game against Chelsea, against Crystal Palace away, we know how dangerous Palace can be. And Tottenham are going to have to be at their best to get anything out of that football match. Do you think, do you think they need to, to go for that game, though, against Crystal Palace, given the stretch at, yeah. at the well, moment? You, is it you, important you, to you them? Look, if you look at that, if they didn't beat... They could be out... They could, this could be another season without a trophy come mm. on Sunday. Yeah. Come on Sunday, that quick. I mean, and... And, and I think these two games are massive. I, I really do. They're not winning the Premier League, no chance. I, I'd be shocked if they won the Champions League. This, this, these are the two trophies. And if I, if I was a Tottenham fan, I, you know, I'd, I'd want to win one of these. And, you know, the injuries have, haven't come at the right time. The, the league games look nice, but, as I say, they, they, could, be out, they could be out of every competition by, by Sunday. And that, that, that wouldn't be good if you're a Tottenham fan. Yeah, two cup competitions back to back. Mm. Would you be targeting them? Yeah, definitely. I think the way that if they look, if they're professional, where they're looking at it, Man United look like they've got a new lease of life, so they're pushing top four. So they could fall out of the Champions League, get knocked out in the current league, um, and then be out the um, the cups mm. as well.